Hi, my name is Tim Buick, PPR Certified Pickleball Professional for Total Pickleball. Be honest. How many times have you walked off the court and said, how did I lose that game? There's no way we should have lost that game. I've had that feeling and I know you have too. And what we're gonna cover today is the eight not so great reasons you're losing winnable games. Let's get into it. The first one is impatience. You're trying to end points too quickly. What we wanna do is we want to have point construction and look for attackable balls. You're not gonna try to put away every ball, you can't. So we're looking for attackable balls. Don't try to end the points too quickly. Be patient. Secondly, drift. Positioning on the court. We have a tendency to drift in two areas. When we serve and the server and or his or her partner drifts in inside the baseline, then a deep return has them hitting off their back foot, you pop it up, lose the point. But there's also drift too on the return as well, where we hit a return and we just sort of drift toward the non-volley zone. No, do not drift. Winning pickleball is played at the non-volley zone line. Third, we overhit our serves and returns. In doubles pickleball, your job is to start the point. Start the point. Second job is get the ball deep. The net is never lost. It's won 100% of the points. Don't hit it in the net. Get the serve in. Not keeping your eye on the ball is point number four. How many times do you see it? Whether you're watching pickleball or playing it, you get that sitter that you dream about at night. And then you get the easy ball and you miss it. A lot of times off the top of the paddle because you put your head down. Keep your eye on the ball. Way too many shots are missed because you're not watching the ball. Point number five is you're using power over placement. You're trying to crush the ball placement over power is more important. You don't have to hit the ball as hard as you hit it sometimes. Put it in the right spot where they're not. The thing, hit them where it ain't, okay? Don't try to use too much power. Point number six, letting your opponent stay comfortable. I'm thinking as I'm playing against you, what is the shot that I can hit that's gonna make you feel uncomfortable? Be cognitive of where you wanna hit the ball. Don't let your opponent get comfortable. Point number seven, you got lazy. I mean, admit it, sometimes you're not moving your feet. You get a little bit lazy, maybe a little bit tired, you're lunging for the ball, not getting behind the ball when you've got to run back for a ball, and you got a little bit lazy and you missed some shots you shouldn't have missed because you're not moving the way that you should move. And finally, point number eight is a lack of communication between you and your partner. Silence is not golden in pickleball. You have to work together. Talk to your partner, strategize with your partner. A lot of times you're not working together and thus you lose the game. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it served you well so you can stop doing these not so eight great things that are costing you games. You should be winning those games, not losing them. So I hope this helped you. For more tips and tricks, go to totalpickleball.com.